they will support our mission in law enforcement. Our job is to take care of them. That's what we want to do. And that's what this is going to do. Regardless of race, gender, or national origin, all people in the state of Illinois should feel secure and have the ability to reach out to any of us in law enforcement, whether it be state, county, municipal, city of Chicago, where you're at, you should be able to report crimes and calls for assistance. That's what we do, and we will do that for you. In addition, and I've got to tell you this, doing this for all the time I've been doing it, this law reinforces local, county, state ability to work with the federal government and our federal partners to protect the neighborhood, to protect the people in the state of Illinois. I would thank, I'd like to thank all of you, all the dedicated officials that came in and signed this bill, or asked that the governor's gonna sign it, for taking the necessary steps to help us safeguard the rights of the people while still maintaining all our relationships with law enforcement for our job to protect you in the community. I want to thank you. I want to thank everybody that showed up here today. I love Illinois so much, so passionately. I was born here. I was born in Chicago, just south of Rigby Field. I've lived in the city, around the city, pretty much my entire life. I love it. This is a great city, and I believe this is the greatest state and the greatest nation on earth. One of the main reasons we are a great state is because we are a welcoming state. We love to have people come from around the nation and around the world to come and work here in the great state of Illinois. This bill takes us in a step continuing to be a welcoming state. This was not an easy bill to pass, let's be clear. This took months and months of difficult negotiations. And I would like to personally call out, I, I, Greg, I think is still here somewhere. I'd like to give a round of applause and a thank you to Greg Sullivan, the head of the Illinois Sheriff's Association. Now, I call many, many leaders in our law enforcement community about this bill, because I wanted to do the right thing. There are many people who don't like the bill, many people don't understand the bill, many people advocate for the bill. I work for all the people of Illinois, I wanted to do the right thing. I call those leaders in the immigrant community, I call leaders in the business community, but I especially want to seek out our leaders in our law enforcement, our police officers. And let me just say, I personally believe that police officers are our heroes. Our police officers can't say all of us here in Illinois. And what the police officers made clear to me is this bill, because I asked them, should I sign this bill? Should I not sign this bill? There are many people who don't want me to sign this bill. Many people. But I'm very pro-immigration. I've been pro-immigration my whole life. I have been very pro-comprehensive immigration reform for my whole life. What should I do? What would you recommend? This is not easy. I know this is very, you know, there's controversy with this. I asked leaders in law enforcement, should I veto this bill or sign this bill? They all said to me, Governor, this is a reasonable compromise. It will help us do our jobs better. It will help us keep our communities safer for all the people of Illinois. And I said, that's the right answer, then I will sign this bill. We have limited resources. We don't have unlimited resources. And police officers' time is valuable. We are suffering from crime in too many neighborhoods and too many communities. Too many communities are not as safe as they should be. Our police officers need to focus on keeping folks safe. If we divert resources and police officers' time to paperwork as opposed to keeping people safe, we all lose. This bill is very simple, very straightforward. I think the bill started off as a 40-some page document. Came down to, I think, two pages. It basically says, 
It said, this is important, that police officers can, 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 can and should continue to communicate fully with federal immigration officials. That's appropriate. But it also says that federal judicial rulings about Fourth Amendment protections and not detaining people beyond whatever they're being, a crime they may have or illegal activity they may have engaged in, detaining them for longer than that without a judicial warrant was inappropriate. This bill says that and enforces that judicial ruling. And it also says, basically, that continue to communicate, but police officers in Illinois to do their job should focus on public safety and well-being while communicating with federal immigration officials. It's reasonable, it's right, and it's a good idea.